is a must win the playoffs. It ain't about X's and O's in this series. It's about uh, you know, will and determination to win the series in both teams. It's not about X's and O's. About X's and O's. In short, LeBron saying effort and attitude uh, were the difference in game one. Well, it is Wednesday, so that means we do have a special guest. We welcome in former NBA player Derek Anderson, who will be our NBA analyst for the day. Yeah. Welcome to the desk. How are you? How are you? Doing great. Doing great. Good. All right. So listen, yes, let's get straight to the topic, Stephen A. Um, and I'll start with Skip first. Do you agree with what LeBron was saying? <sighs> Stephen A. Smith, I'm going to address you first, and then I'm going to let Derek chime in and pick a side. This question okay. reminds me a lot of our first question in today's show about Kevin Durant how much responsibility he should bear for what happened last night in Oklahoma City. I don't agree with LeBron about how X's and O's don't matter because of this. The Heat have one big X that's way better than all the Bulls O's, and that is the now four-time MVP, LeBron James. Tonight is a big night for LeBron because he needs, and and again, I, I picked him to be the MVP before the season, He richly deserved to be the MVP, as we both agreed. Tonight is the night he needs to start backing up his fourth MVP because this obviously could be a crucial game for the – well, you've said, what what if they lose this game tonight at home? And here's the point. I agree. Yeah, go ahead. I agree that it's a big game. But the way you just made that sound as if, you know, he's got a start. It's like – He doesn't have anything to prove is what I'm saying. Okay, well, he has this to prove off game one. He cannot no-show tonight in the first half. I don't know if he wanted to defer, if he wanted to show humility off his MVP ceremony before the game. He cannot score two points in the first half on one field goal, going one for six. And and obviously, Stephen A., down the stretch, LeBron James cannot allow the undermanned Chicago Bulls tonight to outscore the defending champion Heat at home 13 to nothing over the final two and a half minutes of the game. LeBron James is the four-time MVP, cannot tonight, if it's a close game, he can't shoot that late air ball jump shot. He can't miss the late three. He, he cannot allow, as the best defensive player on the floor, the Chicago Bulls to score 35 fourth quarter points the other night in my, think about that. Stephen A, 35 points? Let's see if my math works times four. That'd be a pace to score 140 for the game. The Bulls did that to the Heat at home? Are you kidding me? LeBron can't allow that, and he can't allow Lil Nate. What was the stat the other night in the fourth quarter? Lil Nate (laughs) scored or assisted on 25 of those 35 points. So if it takes LeBron, who's about, what, three times the size of Nate? I think he is about three times (laughs) the size. If it takes LeBron taking Nate defensively and trying to take him out of the game, Fine. What, whatever it takes, I want to see LeBron be LeBron that I did not see in game one, or clearly this team will be in big trouble. Stephen A. I'm saying, did you want me to wait for Derek, or you want no, me to no, go? No, you go. I, I, you I want, want to hear whichever side. I'm ready. Listen, <laughs> here's the deal. LeBron James has nothing to prove. He's a four-time league MVP, and he's the reigning defending world champion. He has nothing to prove. He has to play tonight. He can't be deferential. He can't be somebody that's passive. There's no doubt about it. But I'm not phrasing it the way you did, Skip, as if he's got something to prove to us. He doesn't. He's the best player in the world. He continues to prove it. The other night, first half, there have been times in LeBron James' career, there have been times this season when he's come out and he hasn't been nearly as aggressive as he is most of the time. The first half, trying to get others involved. Eight days rest. Dwayne Wade not playing in a series against Milwaukee. Getting him reacclimated to things. Chris Bosh shooting three of ten. Mario Chalmers, Norris Cole, Shane Battier, by the way. Shane Battier and Ray Allen both shot two of seven from the field. That kind of stuff. It's a collective effort. Now, LeBron is the catalyst. And LeBron is the MVP. And he's the best player on the planet. So guess what? He needs to be more assertive. I don't mind that being said. He definitely needs to be more assertive because the Chicago Bulls are not a joke. They're going to come at you. They're going to fight. They're going to go down swinging. And his, at his statement to me was not about himself. His statement to me was about the Miami Heat. 
because they sitting there chilling in South Beach, and we all know I can understand that. <laughs> you're chilling in South Beach, you're lounging, you're recognizing that. Look, we're the world champions. We swept through Milwaukee after Brandon, you know, after after, after Brandon Jennings sat up there and talked about how they were gonna beat us with six. We just swept through them, got them out of the way in fourth straight. Now we got the Chicago Bulls. They're a bit depleted. They don't have Derrick Rose. They don't have Heinrich. Joakim Noah's playing hurt. Lou Al Dang's in a hospital bed. Oh, please, man, we got this. And they were lounging with the palm trees in the South Florida sunshine. That's all. So now they got a wake-up call. Plain and simple. That's all that's going on here. And that's really what we're talking about. So he's saying we need to be alert because we're the world champions. Everybody's going to come at, a, at us with guns blazing. And we've got to be ready. It's that simple. It's all he's saying. It's nothing more than that. Let's not add to it. Stephen A. saying it's an off night. Uh, Derek, your thoughts on who you agree with? Well, they're both wrong and they're <laughs> both right. Okay. Because if you looked at it, when Michael Jordan played and he was passive in one of the games that they've lost after they had that great season, everyone was questioning, like, is he going to be too passive? Kobe Bryant did it when he was winning on his championship run. They've all done passive games before to figure out the style that they're going to play. And this game is no different. He's just on a pedestal that he needs to perform that way. And in this game, X's and O's didn't matter. His performance showed that he was too passive. And the next game, he'll come out and score 20 points, and we won't have this conversation again. Well, let's remind our audience, too. You had a ring with the Miami Heat in 2006, so you know what it's like to be on a championship run. So yeah, we, you've, ex you've experienced this when a player has had a passive game, a star player perhaps had a passive game. Yeah, we were down 0-2 to Dallas Mavericks. Right. And Dwayne Wade said, I'm not passive anymore. He went bananas. He got calls. He was... All he over got the place. A bunch of calls. Yeah, yeah. And he made those free throws. <laughs> and he made those free throws. Yeah. I mean, we was in a Chicago series, and he started passing me and uh, some guys the ball, and we started hitting shots, like Stephen A. said. So neither one of you guys are wrong, but the other cast has to perform. We started making shots and getting open looks. We started winning games. And we're missing. You know, Gary Payton started to get us in the ball. Shaq was demanding posts and kicking it out. He wasn't trying to score on three and four people. Mm -hmm. He started to change the game. But you can't be passive if you're the man. And in LeBron's situation, he understands that I'm sure he's played in numerous games, but this game, he chose to be that way. It wasn't like they did something different. Well, let me he say this. He chose to be that way. Let me say this. I appreciate your basketball expertise. You know that. You're my boy. <laughs> but this is not the way. That, but the way to ingratiate yourself with this show is not coming on here and oh, telling us you goodness. agree with Skip <laughs> in any way. I just want you to know that. Well, it was agreeing and disagreeing. It was. Mm -hmm. Okay, I, I have to we'll cross-examine my we'll friend Stephen A. Smith on two points that he made. Did I hear come yes, out sir. of your mouth, LeBron James has nothing left to prove? Am I supposed to take from that that because he won one ring last year with Wade, with Bosch, it's over? No, no more expectation no, of LeBron that's James. Wow, he's got a lifetime that's pass not, from here on. He won his ring, not, it's over. That's not what I... That's not what I'm implying. He has to win more rings, no doubt about it. But I'm saying he has nothing to prove to us as it pertains to what he can do outside of winning the rings. It's not like we get to sit up here and say, oh, he lost the game. So he's got to play and do this in this game. Otherwise, we've lost all faith in him. No, wow. it doesn't work that way. Here's where, here's where, this is what LeBron James has earned. This part right here. Rings or nothing. Now, when you're talking about the rings, if he doesn't get the chip, then we sit there after he's clearly been eliminated and we say X, Y, and Z. Outside of that, there's nothing to say. What okay, else is there to say? What can he do? What can he do? He, look, he, he, look, he got his fourth MVP, and we all said, yeah. good for you. We all agreed. Now you've got to back up the fact that you are the best player in basketball. He did not do that. It can't. These games count. The, the Bulls, you, oh, you might think they, they're a well, bye, no, no, but they no. count. No, no, no. Playoffs, come playoffs, series counts. Right. Not games, series counts. You I'm just saying to you, if the, series ends, if, if the series ends and LeBron James is bounced out, okay, yeah. you got me. Okay. But if, he, if, if, if he's passed.
pass them in game one, and he annihilates them in games two and three. Okay. And then he decides to go I, back to passing about. ways in game <laughs> yeah. four. Yeah, I'm just saying. I think, I think Skip's it's counting, serious. I think Skip's counting Miami out already. Is that true? No, I'm not counting Miami out. I think, in fact, I was telling him two days ago, silly me. Yeah. I thought maybe Miami could sweep the playoffs. So you're putting them on the pedestal. I, know I am. Else. I'm, I'm putting Thank just you. like I put Kevin Thank Durant. You. You I put his bar way up here. Leave them up there until they get so back this is about the you. Okay. Okay. So just, just, remember, you. just remember, I'm also putting this in the context of tonight they are a 12-point home favorite. 12 points. They were a 12-point favorite in game one. That's, that's inexcusable. To lose to that team, I know they're gutty and gritty and all that above. And LeBron can say, we got to match their, their will and their fight, blah, blah. They're better. Just go be better. You can execute better. LeBron has to be focused quicker in that game. And time then when out, it comes to time. But you still got to wait on the series to be over. You can't wait. You Last can't point, say that Derek, series. Hold on, Derek. Do that. You got to wait till the series is over. Well, I mean, that's a right. jeopardy position right now. Oh, fellas. Uh, no. Uh, not at all. So you think it's fellas, fellas control? Yeah, they wouldn't beat everybody on the road this year. It doesn't change. Okay. It doesn't can matter. You, can I make a point, please? No. <laughs> no. It's, this is Derek's show. <laughs> there is no bigger fan. There is no bigger fan of Michael Jordan's than... Skip Bayless. That's a fact. I recall not one, but two series. One was against the Seattle Seahawks when no. the Lake uh, when when the Bulls were up three not to nothing, That's a and Gary Payton <laughs> and Sean Kemp <laughs> won two games. Won two games yeah. because Jordan and them basically took it off before they closed out the deal. Right. I also recall a series when the Chicago Bulls were up three one. And they went back to Chicago, and they were supposed to close Utah out. They were. And the coronation had been granted. And then Carl Malone and John Stockton won, and then they had to go back to Utah for game six. And Michael My point stunk is, up the fourth happened, quarter that game they closed out the They closed out the deal. Mm -hmm. In the end, you're, when you're a champion, you're measured by series, yeah. not by a game. Right. Okay? Not Remember, by a game. The game you're talking about, the closeout game at home, Michael stunk up the fourth quarter, missed some late key shots, came in the media room, and described it as, that was cute. That's how, that's how upset he was about his lack of clutch performance. It was cute. But it that's wasn't X's point. and O's either. You know what? But he went to Utah Thank the you. next game with Scotty looking like he couldn't play game seven. And what did he do? He did hold the pose. Oh. You know, hold the pose. <laughs> that's that's what he did. You guys, so let's just add this. Tom Tittle right. has just confirmed so that that Wild Gang is not, not the playing game. tonight. Oh. So we just need to know that. Not that oh. that matters, but well, it, he's not playing it, tonight. It doesn't help Chicago. It calls. doesn't, but I don't know if they need him in game one. Meanwhile, uh, Derek, got Nate. it was a pleasure. We will see you a little later, will we yes, not? Yes, we will. I'll be ready. All right, All right. be ready. And, and obviously, I'll be ready to rip in the uh, skip for you. <laughs> and and yes, you can yeah. disagree with both. It's okay. Coming up next, guys, give